The art surrounding Radiohead's albums and singles have become synonymous with the band, and this is all due to their longtime friend and collaborator, Stanley Donwood. But why does Donwood's art play such a huge role in the atmosphere built around Radiohead's music? But before I continue, over 70% of the people watching this video are not subscribed, and I'm getting real close to a thousand, so if you could help me out, I'd appreciate it a lot. Donwood started his journey with the band in 1994 by creating the cover art for the My Iron Lung single. Him and Tom met in art school, and as Tom put it, I figured I'd either end up really not liking this person at all, or working with him for the rest of my life. Of course, that second part ended up being true. Not only has Donwood gone on to make every single artwork for Radiohead, whether it be an album or a single, but he's also done every piece of artwork for Tom York as a solo artist, and all of the stuff for Adams for Peace. Donwood's process includes being in the studio with the band as they record. He lets the music influence the artwork, which is why the artwork seems to fit so well with the records. If you just look at the album covers and think of how the album feels, the artwork makes complete sense. For example, if you take a look at the moon-shaped pool cover, it's black and white, it's dark and depressing and empty, like a void. And arguably, Moon-shaped Pool is one of the most depressing Radiohead albums, when in contrast you look at something like In Rainbows, which is much more upbeat sounding, well, compared to the average Radiohead album, hence the bright and colorful album cover. And of course, recently, with the release of the Kid Amnesia exhibition, Donwood's art is littered everywhere. The design philosophy behind the exhibition in the first place was that they would create no new work, because there was already loads of it as is. Everything that's in the exhibition was made over 20 years ago in one way or another. And if you took a look around the exhibition, or watched my most recent video on it, then you can see the atmosphere that the artwork creates with the music. I was lucky enough to be contacted by the owner of Minnow's Wall 3, a piece of artwork created by Donwood. It's a 6 foot by 6 foot canvas that he produced, and it was used in both the Amnesiac Lyrics booklet, as well as being the background on the cover of the Pyramid Song single. The owner sent me close-up images of the artwork. These are something that you can't just find on the internet, and they really showcase the depth and layering that goes into Donwood's art and they really, pun intended, add layers of emotion. I don't know that much about fine arts by any means, and the only real source of knowledge I have is an intro to art class that I'm taking for college, but I do know how to appreciate the good stuff when I see it. Donwood's work has so much more than meets the eye, and I think it's that depth in history that his work puts off that makes the art so interesting. The art alone creates an atmosphere, even without the music, but the pairing of the two make it incredible. Just watching the Kid A blips, you get this eerie, something is wrong feeling. Playing the exhibition, you also get that feeling. These feelings are what makes the art interesting, it's what makes the pairing of both Donwood and the band so great. And what is art's purpose if not to make you feel something? This has been Stemp. Thank you guys for watching.